salute everybody. Welcome back, man. It's your boy Real Talk Live Sports. Welcome back to the platform with a real talk live sports. It's in the game. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into it, man. Manny Pacquiao is back. Manny Pacquiao started training camp, but the question is, who is he fighting? Is it Ryan Garcia? Is it Terrence Bud Crawford? Recently saw Terrence Bud Crawford training in the hills and the mountains. You know what I'm saying? Who's he going to fight? Now, Manny Pacquiao, legend. Legend. If you look at the top five in the welterweight division, Manny Pacquiao is in a running. Recently beaten Keith Thurman for that. Like I said, beating Adrian um, Broner. Manny Pacquiao still got it. Can he, can, st can he still compete at a high level with the Terrence Crawfords of the world, with the Errol Spencers of the world, even the young Ryan Garcias of the world? I believe so. Because Manny Pacquiao, his lifestyle, his respect, and the way that he approaches the sport and treats the sport of boxing, Manny Pacquiao is not only still relevant, but he can still compete at a high level. And anybody at the top of the welterweight division, whether you have it Spence or Crawford or Crawford or Spence or whatever, Manny Pacquiao can still compete and beat these guys. Don't get it twisted. Now, can they compete and beat Manny Pacquiao? Of course they can. It's a reason why they're at the top of the division. Now, if Manny Pacquiao, if he fights Ryan Garcia, Ryan Garcia does possess great speed, but Manny Pacquiao, if it's a real fight, he's going to knock out Ryan Garcia. Easy. If Luke Campbell dropped Ryan Garcia, what you think Manny Pacquiao would do? That Manny Pacquiao is faster than him and has more power than he does. So, if Manny Pacquiao catches you, this is Ryan Garcia. He's going to put Ryan Garcia to sleep. Now, Errol Spence, Terrence Bud Crawford, now these, are, now these will be some good fights. I think these two fights from these two guys will test and push Manny Pacquiao to his limits, especially Bud, because Bud is a great boxer. He's a better boxer than Spence. Spence has the strength, but... Errol Spence also is a better boxer. I'd be telling people his he his fundamentals in boxing are spectacular. And I don't care how good you are, how much you know, how much you've learned, your fundamentals have to be rock solid in order for you to make it at a high level, whatever your weight class. Now Spence He's not too flashy, as he as he spoke about, you know what I mean, when he was um, giving his rebuttal to uh, Jerron Boots Ennis about him not possessing tricks and all that. Like he said, I don't have a lot of tricks, but I can fight my ass off. End of the day, that's all that matters. You know what I'm saying? But having a couple of tricks, though, that could be the deciding factor of a fight. But that's a different topic for a different story. So let's move on. Manny Pacquiao. If Manny Pacquiao fights Terrence Crawford, I believe that'll be a great fight, first of all. And I think that fight may not go to distance. Some people think that fight will go to distance, which it could be. But I do believe Manny Pacquiao has what it takes to stop Spence or Crawford. But as I said, Spence and Bud also have the tools to stop Manny. That's what makes it so good. It's not one-sided, you know what I'm saying? You're talking about a 50-50, nah, I'm gonna say 50-50 split, because you already, you, already, you already know who with the money. If you're talking about fighting Manny Pacquiao, Manny getting a bigger part of the bag, period. I don't care what, you can be number one, and Manny still will make more money than you. But as far as the skill pool, Manny, Bud, 50-50. Manny, Spence, 50-50. Because Spence and Bud, the skills that they possess can give Manny problems. Now, the skills that Manny possesses 
can give these guys problems because Manny is a great boxer. His defense is underrated. His footwork is still good for him to be 42 years of age. You know what I'm saying? He is still very mobile, still very athletic, and that's going to be a problem, especially towards Spence. You know what I'm saying? Because Manny is not like Sean Porter at all. You know what I'm saying? Manny is faster than Sean Porter. So imagine the movement that Manny is going to give Errol Spence and the punch output. Manny is going to have to definitely throw more punches than Spence from round to round. Now, can he sustain that through 12 rounds? That would be the question. But his punch output is going to have to be higher than Spence. Different tools for Bud. But with Spence, man, he's going to have to let those hands fly. Because Errol Spence and a high guard, he keeps his guard very, very tight. Very tight. Once Spence brings his guard, once he, once he brings that guard up, he locks it in very tight. You know what I'm saying? And then he just he just parries all shots, parries all shots. You try to go to the body, you know what I'm saying? He's, he's dropping a bridge, you know what I'm saying? So Manny's going to have to throw multiple shots in order to get through and break through that guard. But Manny has a very sneaky uppercut that he catches people with, you know what I mean? So that would be a very good punch for him with Spence. So look for Manny to land that punch when they fight. Everybody's gonna be looking for the um, you know what I mean, the straight, the straight left hand. You already know that. But I guarantee you the deciding punch when Manny fights Spence will be the uppercut. Mark my words. So Manny Pacquiao, if he fights Bud Crawford, that'd be a great fight. Now I do believe that fight could possibly go the distance, but I believe somebody can get stopped in that fight. You know what I'm saying? If Bud manages, manages to, excuse me, to catch Manny and hurt Manny, Bud has the tools to finish Manny off. Now, if Manny hurts Bud, Manny has the tools to finish Bud Crawford off. You know what I'm saying? Now, a lot of people say Manny Pacquiao isn't as aggressive as he used to be once upon a time, and I do believe that to be true. But at the same time, Manny Pacquiao is still dangerous. If Manny Pacquiao gets you hurt, he can't finish you. Don't get it twisted. And like I said, Manny is getting older. So Manny may turn back into that beast he was once upon a time ago. Why? Because it's in his best interest if he gets you hurt to get you up out of there quick. So if he gets you hurt, I can see Manny putting his foot on the gas and trying to beat the hell out of somebody. You know what I mean? Get you up out of there, had a ref come in there and wave it off. You dig what I'm saying? So that's going to be a good fight. But this Ryan Garcia talk, if that fight happens, if and it's a real fight, not, a, not an exhibition, then I think Ryan Garcia, he'll look flashy the first two to three rounds. Then after that, once Manny um, gets his distance and timing down together, or down pack, excuse me, Manny is going to beat the hell out of Ryan Garcia. You know what I'm saying? Because Manny still has speed, and Manny is strong. If Manny hits you, his hands is like bricks. So if Manny Pacquiao hits uh, Ryan Garcia, trust me, watch Ryan Garcia face when Manny Pacquiao catches him the first time flush. His whole demeanor is going to change. His whole demeanor is going to change. And once his demeanor changes, his game plan is going to change. He's not going to be as aggressive, you know what I mean? He's going to try to keep Manny at the end of the jab, try to catch him with that left hook, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, his footwork, Manny's going to dance around him, you know what I'm saying? Manny's going to keep on catching him on the blind side, making Ryan Garcia turn and adjust. If, if Manny Pacquiao can make Ryan Garcia keep turning, Manny Pacquiao is going to wind up catching him with something nice and wind up knocking Ryan Garcia out. Mark my words. So... Moving forward, Manny Pacquiao, who will he fight? That is the question. Because Manny can come out and surprise everybody. Everybody is thinking Bud or Spence or Garcia. What if he comes out of left field and gives Thurman a rematch? You know what I'm saying? Or well, who knows? Fight Mikey Garcia. Or well, who knows? <laughs> fight Jerron Ennis or somebody. Or, you know what I mean? Or Porter. So, 
like I said, man, Manny, Manny, yeah, I mean, you never know. Because at this stage, Manny can fight who he wants to fight. And if Manny decides to fight you, you're going to fight him. Because Manny's a legend. That's number one. And number two, you're guaranteed one of the biggest paydays you ever had in your life. So whoever Manny Pacquiao chooses to fight, it's going to be a good fight. So as they said in social media, man, in the days to come, maybe in a week or so, we're going to finally find out who Manny Pacquiao is going to fight. And once we have a name, then it's truly going to be on. Then we can really start talking about this and start talking about that. Because right now, all we can do as analysts is basically speculate. You know what I mean? So in the days to come, fight fans, maybe in about a week or so, we're going to find out who Manny Pacquiao will face next. Because he already said he's fighting in 2021. He already started training camp. So that news will be dropping soon. Who's he going to fight? So I'll catch you guys on the next one, man. See you next round. But do your best to stay humble, stay motivated, and protect yourself at all times. Guard up and mask up. Salute to Talk Nation, man. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications. Hit all so as these videos drop, you can get them as soon as they come out of the oven. And to everybody that's already subscribed, just make sure that you guys have your um, notifications on. I appreciate the love. I appreciate the support. Catch you guys next round, man. Talk Nation. Peace.